Over the next 10 years, a significant number of towers will be built, and this will lead to a change in the location of the world's tallest tower every year for the next 100 years. In this video, we tell you, for example, which will be the tallest tower in 2025, or in 2030 and so on. So, in today's video, we're going to look at the 10 tallest tower of the future years. Number 10. Burj Khalifa. We first start with the current tallest tower, which is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. This tower is the tallest tower in the world since 2010, or if you watch this video after 2025 then it was the tallest tower. The height of the tower is 828 meters, and the future Dubai Creek Tower will overturn that height, but we'll only talk about that in number 9 position. The tower was handed over on January 4, 2010 and construction began on September 21, 2004. If you watch this video in 2021 then for another 4 years this tower will be the tallest tower in the world. Number 9. Dubai Creek Tower in 2025. This tower is expected to open in 2025 and will be 828 meters high, but its final height is a secret even for builders. This tower will be built in Dubai in the Dubai Creek District. The designer evening lighting and exterior will provide a beautiful view of Dubai. The cost of construction will be $1 billion. In October 2016, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum participated in the Pioneer of the Tower, which began construction of the tower with an opening scheduled for 2021. The video showing the construction so far was released in August 2017. In May 2018, a subsidiary of B66 Construct laid the foundations for the tower. On April 4, 2020. Number 8. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir in 2030. This tower will be 1,001 meters high and will be handed over in early 2030. This tower will be built in Kuwait's capital, Kuwait City. Another challenge would be the huge height of the building, which makes it vulnerable to high winds. In order to cope with these winds, the tower was designed as three intertwined towers, each rotating 45 degrees to help stabilize it. In addition, vertical barns run along the entire length of the building at all edges. The building will include seven vertically placed 30-story neighborhoods, including apartments, offices and hotels. Number 7. Jeddah Tower in 2030. The Jeddah Tower will be a 1,008-meter high tower and is expected to be handed over in 2030. The tower should have been handed over in 2017, but that didn't happen. It is expected to be completed in 2030, creating a new district in Jeddah City, which will be Jeddah Anomic City. The tower will be developed and there will also be a balcony at an altitude of 800 meters. It will be the headquarters and first phase of the $20 billion Kingdom City along the Red Sea, on the north side of Jeddah. When completed as planned, the tower will reach an unprecedented height and will be the tallest building in the world, as well as the first structure to reach a height of 1 km. The tower was originally designed to be 1,609 km high, but the area is not geographically suitable for this height. Number 6. Sky Mile Tower in 2045 The Sky Mile Tower will be the tallest tower in the world and is expected to be handed over in 2045. The tower will be built in the Japanese capital, Tokyo. The design of the tower is part of a research and development initiative called Next Tokyo 2045 and was developed by Cone Pedersen of Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates. The Sky Mile Tower would be built on an archipelago of reclaimed land in Tokyo Bay. This proposed reclamation project centered on the Sky Mile Tower, is referred to as Next Tokyo. The building was designed to occupy about 55,000 people and is planned to be 1,700 meters high. Representatives from Next Tokyo believe the value of the new waterfront properties in Tokyo Bay could contribute to paying for the construction of the project if the proposal is implemented. Number 5. Dubai City Tower in 2070. The Dubai City Tower, also known as the Dubai Vertical City or Dubai Vertical City, is a planned skyscraper whose plan was announced on August 25, 2008. To build the building, architects must use technology that is not currently available. This would be the third tallest building that was designed and would be built. The Dubai City Tower will be much taller than any other artificial structure, nearly three times the Burj Khalifa and nearly seven times the Empire State Building. In the 400-story building, the main elevator would transport people at a speed of 200 km per hour. The designers were inspired by the Eiffel Tower. Number 4. X-Speed 4000 in 2100. The X-Seed 4000 concept was a skyscraper. 
The idea was originally created and developed by Martin Pasco. The proposed altitude of 4 km, 6 km wide sea base and 800 stories capacity can accommodate between 500,000 and 1 million inhabitants. This structure would consist of more than 3 million tons of steel. Teisei Corporation designed it in 1995 in Tokyo, Japan, as a futuristic environment that combines ultra-modern and technological lifestyles with interactions with wildlife and nature. Methods of transport within the X-Core are likely to include maglev trains. Unlike traditional skyscrapers, the X-Seed 4000 is forced to actively protect its occupants from significant internal air pressure and external air pressure gradations in order to maintain viability. The X-Seed 4000 is projected to be twice the height of the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid, 004 meters. The Shimizu Megacity Pyramid faces most of the same problems as the X-Seed. Number 3. Tokyo Tower of Babel in 2100 or 2150. The Tower of Babel in Tokyo is the tallest idea I ever imagined, and if it were ever built, it would house roughly 30 million people in last 100 to 150 years. This tower 10,000 meters high. That would cost about 3 trillion US dollars. Number 2. The Launch Loop in 2300. The Launch Loop, or Lofstrom Loop, is a proposed system for bringing objects into orbit using a moving cable-like system that connects to the ground at both ends and is suspended in the middle above the atmosphere. The design concept was published by Keith Lofstrom and describes an active core-core cable routing system that can be maintained at approximately 2,000 km long and up to 80 km altitude. The momentum of the belt at this height would hold a starter loop circulating around the structure. This circulation actually transfers the weight of the structure to a pair of magnetic bearings, one at each end which supports it. Launch loops are intended to achieve non-rocket space launch of vehicles weighing 5 tons by electromagnetically accelerating them so that the projections orbit the Earth and beyond. Number 1. The Space Elevator in 2500. The Space Elevator is the recommended type of planetary space transportation system. The main component would be a cable that is fixed to the surface and extends into space. The design would allow vehicles to pass the cable to the planet's surface, such as the Earth directly into space or into orbit, without the use of large missiles. A terrestrial space elevator would consist of a cable with one end connected to a surface near the equator and the other end in space beyond the geostationary orbit. Competing gravitational forces that are stronger at the lower end of the cable and an outward-upward centrifugal force that is stronger at the upper end would result in the cable being held up and held in a single position on the ground. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next time.